Well, get these headphones turned up a little bit here, but uh, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Lexington Catholic High School. William Moorfield here with you alongside my tag team partner tonight, Lexington Catholic uh, intern, Mr. Jack Haynes. And, Jack, uh, we got a big game tonight. You got number eight. Uh, Wes Jessman, which people are seeing on the screen now, taking on number 20 in the state, Lexington Catholic. So talk to me about uh, talk to me about tonight's matchup, my friend. Yeah, tonight's matchup. It should be a great one. We got a battle of a couple superstars over here. Uh, Tara Martin, Eva Mitchell, Anna Lee. Anna Lee and Eva Mitchell are UK commits for Wes Jessman. And Tara Martin's got her choice of pretty much anywhere in the nation. And then over on uh, Lexington Catholic side, they got Kennedy Traner, who they're just announcing on the field. And uh, she's also a UK commit, so it looks like a couple future teammates going head to head out here on the field tonight. Yeah, this is going to be, uh, I, I think it's going to be a barn burner tonight, quite frankly. I think it's going to be maybe a low scoring game, but uh, I certainly think that, uh, that tonight will be a close one. We're going to uh, step out for a second. We'll be back. You're watching the game live here on Night Vision tonight. It's powered by Prep Spin, folks. White, Greer, and Maggard, where a beautiful smile is just the beginning. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. In Fayette Mall and AllSportsLEX.com, locally owned and operated since 1972. It's easy to spot people who participated in high school sports and activities. Right on time. They learned important lessons like leadership, teamwork, respect. Hey, our meeting moved to 10. We'll be ready. Values that last a lifetime. We need to focus on three factors. Support high school sports and activities in New York. William Warfield alongside Jack Haynes. And, uh, Jack, we're here at Joseph K. Ford Stadium where we're going to have the Lexington Catholic Knights taking on the West Jasmine Colts as the Colts out on the field and Lexington Catholic coming out as well. Jack, I'm going to turn it over to you tonight and let you have the play call, and I'll do my thing over here as well, my friend. All right, sounds good. And uh, tonight's matchup we got ranked in the prep spin power 40 poll, number 20 Lexington Catholic and number 8 West Jasmine Colts. Going up tonight here on a beautiful night here at Joseph K. Ford, Jason, Joseph K. Ford Stadium. And uh, so, do you know why they're ranked so high, both teams? Uh, Lexington Catholic ranked 20th. They do have power a lot of schedule. losses. That's what their the power, power 40, schedule. Yeah, they they're, play the toughest teams in the state. Lexington Catholic does play the toughest teams in the state, and West Jesmond, they also play a lot of tough teams. They won the Science Hill tournament in Tennessee, sweeping all the teams. And they're having an 11-3 and one record right now, and both were top five teams in the preseason poll early this year, and both teams are going to be coming out hungry tonight, looking for a win. Amen to that. As uh, we get ready to get this one underway, and who out there for Lexington Catholic looks like number 12 getting ready to uh, start this one off. Yeah, Casey Neuer just kicked it to Cassie Corbett, who sends one down to Dominique Morris in stride and out of bounds. 
They were trying to hit that uh, sideline over there. Now, West Jessamine is a good defensive team. We mentioned Taryn Martin uh, earlier, but uh, I tell you what, she is amazing. Yeah, Tara Martin, a senior on this Colts team, she has her choice of anywhere in the nation to play college next year, and I'm sure it's not an easy one. She can go, I mean, I, I, I'm thinking D1. She may even dress up over there for UK, possibly. Which would make possibly four future teammates on the field tonight. You know, you got, uh, we, we mentioned... You know, Anna Lee, obviously, uh, we mentioned Emma Mitchell. What about, uh, you know, Kennedy Tranter there for uh, Lexington Catholic? She's a commitment to UK as well. Yeah, Kennedy Tranter, who committed last year to UK, showed a last uh, game we covered for Lexington Catholic when they played uh, Sacred Heart. Mm -hmm. That amazing goal from the corner down there, which was Lexington Catholic's lone goal in the game. And she has a lot of potential to break out into a superstar at the next level. You're watching a game live here on Night Vision. It's powered by Prep Spin. West Jasmine Colts fans out there are familiar with Prep Spin. As uh, we do some of their games on occasion as well. And of course I live there in Jasmine County. It's kind of like uh, watching my home versus my home here. <laughs> <laughs> West Jasmine Colts with an attack as Caroline Hergen is there with the great defense. And quite frankly, that is one of the major reasons why I didn't want to do play-by-play -play tonight. It's too emotional for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> and shot on goal. Hits the side of the net. I love both of these teams, no doubt about that. Should be a barn burner tonight here. Or you're going to get a good one. You will get a good one. When that sun starts to set down, then uh, obviously the uh, players that are on the far side of the field, you'll be able to see them a little bit better. It, it is bright out there in that corner right now. More the end zone. but Some kind of hold up on the field right now. Clock has stopped at 37 minutes and 38 seconds. Austin Wally with the goal kick. I like Wally. She's really coming to her own this year and doing some good things for Lexington Catholic. Yeah, Austin Wally really stepping up this year. The senior on the defensive side of the ball has made a lot of plays this year, and she's someone that's hard to get by, and a lot of defenders don't get a, res a lot of respect on the soccer field as the goal scorers and the attackers and the midfielders and the forwards do. Speaking she's of defense there, did you just see – Morris. Yeah, Dominique nice Morris, who is a forward for Lexington Catholic, was down there to make a defensive play. Coach Quigley making some changes here tonight, obviously, taking some of his offensive power and putting them in there uh, on defense to start this one out. Kind of parking the bus more tonight is Coach Quigley and shot on goal, cross there. Knocked out by Olivia Williams and shot. Second shot from West Jesmond is over the net. Yeah, West Justman style, they will continue to attack all game long. Um, matter of fact, West Justman uh, coming into the, the season was ranked as high as number three in the state. Actually, in our first Power 40 rankings that we had put out, they were ranked number one in the state because of their strength of schedule, number one, and because of their offensive power. Yeah, and I believe Lexington Catholic was ranked number two. Lexington Catholic was ranked number two, Sacred Heart number three. And Lexington Catholic is a better team than their record shows because of what we said, their strength of schedule. It's one of the hardest schedules in the state. Coach Quigley really wants to test his girls out during the season, so come playoff time, they're ready to play. It always pays off, too. It's been like that ever since I can remember. Coach Quigley been around a long time, as has... Coach Kevin Wright of West Jasmine, two legends going toe-to-toe -to -toe here tonight. Yeah, two of the all-time winningest high school girls soccer coaches going against each other tonight. That's correct. Will you do your homework? <laughs> A 
I want to thank some of our sponsors while we got an opportunity. Obviously, White Grim Maggot Orthodontics, our title sponsor on the network. I want to thank those fine folks. If you need braces, please go check them out. Also, Class 101, I want to thank them. Uh, Traditional Bank. Uh, Bluegrass Orthopedics, I want to thank those fine folks. And uh, Collins Bowling Centers, they got that special going on right now, Josh. It's yeah. uh, uh, ninety-nine dollars originally, down to thirty-nine ninety-nine. Right. Great deal over there at Eastland and Southland Lanes. But you got to tell them that you heard it here on Night Vision, powered by Prep Spin. Sarah Jane McCarty. Down here with the ball as the whistle's blown. Sarah J. McCarty, she's one that we don't get to talk about a whole lot. And I tell you, for Wes Jessman, too, you know, a player that's been just excellent all season long has been Delaney Long. And yeah, Delaney Long really uh, coming into her own this year. She's a junior for the Lady Colts. And she's a good one, too. She's got a goal and in two assists on the year. Her uh, sister plays for Asbury. And speaking of Sarah Jane McCarty, a senior for the Lady Knights, with a goal in their last game on Monday against Lexington Christian Academy, where they came out with the win in that one. I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight to watch the Colts and the Knights play here on Night Vision. You might think to yourself, if you're a West Jasmine Colts fan, well, why is it on Night Vision tonight? Well, Lexington Catholic has uh, teamed up with us, and we're uh, producing over 70 broadcasts this year for the school. And uh, so we created their own network called Night Vision. Of course, it'll be available later on on demand on prepspin.com as well. But uh, Night Vision is the spot here tonight for this one. Lexington Catholic with an opportunity here. Kennedy Trainer breaks free. Uh oh, this might be Trainer. Crosses it to Abby oh. Van Hoovey and a little too far <laughs> as Abby Van Hoovey went for the header there. That was an amazing cross there by Kennedy Trainer. And Van Hoovey, she was just like a millisecond behind getting there in time. And that would have been a Sports Center top 10 play if that would have happened right there because that <laughs> yeah. was beautiful. The timing was just a little off there. That, that was amazing. That that was one of the best transitions that I think I've seen all year long. Uh, just unfortunate that they didn't complete it, but that was so sweet. And speaking of amazing passes, we were talking about that amazing pass that Kennedy Trainer received against Sacred Heart in the last game we covered. And that pass was from freshman Maggie Corbett. Mm. was an amazing pass on Kennedy Trainer's goal in that game. Colt's going to intercept this one there, it looks like. Knight's there to take it away, Jack. Tori McLaughlin there with the takeaway. Tori McLaughlin has been starting for the Lady Knights this year. She's a sophomore, and Coach Quigley has been able to trust her on the field and know that she can make plays. Lady Knights keep possession. Tori McLaughlin with the lead pass, Abby Van Hoovey, and it's taken away by the Lady Colts. West Jesmond looking to attack here. Somebody's got the horn out tonight. The Vuvuzelas are out tonight for the Lexington Catholic student section. Kennedy Trainer fighting for the ball. She gets it, but a whistle's blown. Gonna be a foul on Kennedy Trainer. 
free kick for the Lady Colts. Tonight in goal for the Lady Knights to start off the game is Olivia Williams. Very possible we will see Liz Thompson in the second half. Well, Shesman will stick with uh, Taylor Purdue for most of the game. And they've got a freshman that uh, will kind of fill in as well, Anna Rexford, um, that uh, is going to be a superstar. Of course, Taylor Purdue the queen of the frame this year for West Jesmond. Yeah, both uh, goalies for West Jesmond have done a fantastic job this year. Taylor Purdue has uh, done a great job in goal, not giving up too many goals, especially against the teams they've played in state. Both teams with two pretty tough goalies on their team. And West Jesmond able to knock it away from the Lady Knights as they were trying to attack. West wearing the blue and black stri uh, stripes tonight is uh... Lexington Catholic in the all white. Yeah, ask Coach Wright if if that's. Symbolizes anything, or if that's just uh, just a creative outfit that they've got on tonight. <laughs> Shot from about 20 yards out. Ooh, bobbled by Olivia Williams, but she's able to hold on to it. Eva Mitchell. Was that Eva Mitchell on the shot or on the pass? I believe it might have been on the shot. And speaking of Eva Mitchell, she's got 16 goals on the year. Very impressive. And with along with eight assists, Eva Mitchell. Here's another young lady, too, that just had a touch on the ball. It was uh, Miss Cole there for uh, West Jasmine. She wears that number four jersey. And uh, she is going to be a... Really good player, too, for the Colts. Yeah, about 13 minutes and shot on goal is going to go in wow. for the Lady Colts. Outstanding shot right over Olivia Williams into the left corner there. Do we see who got it? Looking for a number on who that was. Was it number five? That's the only downfall to, <laughs> to the jerseys is it's hard to pick up those numbers. Yeah. I'll have to go back and look at it on the replay. But nonetheless, amazing shot as West Jesmond will take an early one nothing lead here at Lexington Catholic against the Lady Knights in the 27th minute of the first half. I think that was number five. Number five would be Morgan Pence. Yeah. So Morgan Pence right now with the credit for the goal. Unless we look back at the replay and, and change that, which we'll tweet that out at halftime. And yeah, Morgan Pence, a junior for the Colts, got make that her third goal on the year. And that's unofficial, but uh, we definitely will review tape and uh, credit the right individual. We'll just have to wait to halftime to do so. But again, thanks everybody for uh, tuning in tonight. I know you it's the time out of your busy field. schedule. We do got a bit of a blind spot there in that left corner here at Lexington Catholic. Early on, the Lady Colts with the advantage here in time of possession. Getting opportunities. Lexington Catholic also with opportunities. Here's another one Ooh. over the top. Three on Friday, nothing tonight. Looks like the shot attempt there for the Lady Colts was Haley Cole, the freshman who we've already talked about tonight. 
yeah, Haley Cole is going to be one of those players that you're going to look at three or four years from now and be like, man, William told you so. <laughs> Colt's going to play it back towards the middle. It was a beautiful night here at Lexington Catholic. Oh, and off the head there. Sergeant McCarty attempting to clear it out and off one of the West Jesmond players. And already done a couple games recently, and I have seen that a lot. Doesn't look pleasant at all. That ball's a lot harder than everybody thinks it is. I've been down on the sideline and been tagged with those a couple times. And tell you what, it does not feel good. There must be a special technique to it. Cross is deflected as Olivia Williams picks it up. Lady Knight's looking to get something going early here as Wes Jesmond strikes first. Got a bird circling the field up here. <laughs> Casey Neuer with the ball now and her lead pass is deflected. The Kennedy trainer goes down is not able to get to it. Wish we had a Mike on Quigley and on uh, Coach Kevin Wright tonight. That would be some interesting footage. Who wouldn't want to hear two legendary coaches during the game in any sport at any level? And you don't have to worry about any bad words out of those guys. Is they they keep it clean over there, but they are so passionate about the game of soccer. So it would be made for TV. <laughs> PG. <laughs> and early on, Lexington Catholic Lady Knights are struggling to get the ball across midfield. They've had one great opportunity, but we saw this against Sacred Heart, and shot is going to be to the right and out of bounds. As uh, Anna Lee taking the shot there, she's a, you know, she's a dual sport athlete for West Jessman. Um, not only is she great at soccer, but her basketball game is pretty good. She's the point guard for the West Jessman Colts basketball team, and uh, she's been known to do that Allen Iverson crossover dribble. <laughs> Always cool to see dual sport athletes take the field or court. Austin Wally clearing it out. As right now tonight, she's playing the last line of defense for the Lady Knights, and she is tough to get by. As Carolina Ergen with the steal, West Jesmond able to get it right back. But the Lady Knights are struggling to get the ball across midfield. We saw that really in the second half of the game against Sacred Heart where they could not get across the 50-yard line in the entire second half. And they're struggling a little here tonight, although they have had that opportunity. It's been all West Jesmond in the time of possession. So uh, good that you point that out. Is You're right. Uh Lexington Catholic has had the ball down on their side of the field a little bit, but most often this ball game, West Jessman's controlled. Again, that's that's just the toughness of both of their schedules. Though. And they, they, anybody and everybody that wants to play, they'll play. Yeah, and both of these teams have played Sacred Heart, Highlands, Assumption, top teams in the state, and both teams still have Tate's Creek left on their schedule. Tate's Creek, a very good team. 
Yeah, Tate's Creek uh, latest poll, they come out ranked number five in the state. I do remember seeing that one. Sarah J. McCarty knocks that down one with her head. Might not have been on purpose either. Did you see the uh, Julia Hatcher uh, kill last night? The uh, I did. I saw spike. that. I saw that on Twitter, and that was ridiculous. <laughs> right off the face. <laughs> yeah, that, that girl looked at her like she smacked her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Julia Hatcher committed to Clemson for the Lady Knights in volleyball. I, I've never seen that before, but that, that certainly made a good highlight clip there. Talking about the volleyball game last night here at Lexington Catholic. These kids have been eating that up today at school. And I believe the Lady Knights won 3-0 three to, three to zero in that game against Berea. Yeah. West Justman's got a good volleyball team too. I'm name dropping tonight. <laughs> you, you may wonder why I know a lot about West Jasmine. Well, that again, that's because that's my hometown. I keep up with the Colts. I love uh, Mark Miracle, the athletic director over there. And of course, I'm a, I'm a big Colts fan. It's home to me there, just as uh, Lexington Catholic's home to me here. So again, that's this one's a tough one. I'm biting my nails. I might not have any fingernails left after the <laughs> end of this one. The Knights with a couple substitutions. As West Jasmine's able to get it out of there, but substitutions in for the Lady Knights. Number four, Emma Harper. 18, Alexis Burdine. And I believe the other one was Randy Alpaca yeah. in for the Lady Knights. In the 18th minute here. <laughs> Will be a goal kick for the Lady Knights. You ever wonder why high school soccer counts down, but college counts up on the time? Yeah, I was actually curious of that the other day. I'm still curious. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly sure. Because technically the minute would be the 22nd minute, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Still thinking of my uh, pro soccer, I guess. But, I mean, it's hard to tell with uh, with the clock counting down instead of up. Yeah, that is different, and I'm not sure why it is. We'll have to ask about that. We'll have to ask Coach Quigley in school tomorrow about that one. Of course, if you know the answer to you can tweet at us. Reach us on Twitter, at PrepSpin, that little at symbol, and then PrepSpin. P-R-E-P-S-P-I-N, and we'd love to hear from you. Casey Norris pass to Kennedy Traner at midfield. Let's see if they get an opportunity. Emma Harper looking to set up Abby Van Hoovey. That pass is going to be out of bounds. But it will be Lady Knight's throw in. Van Hoovey, she's the real deal, isn't she? Yeah, Abby Van Hoovey, a junior. She's showed a lot and shot on goal from Kenny Trainer is scooped up. Taylor Perdue just kind of rolled that one out there, but a good save off of one hopper off of that carpet. It's it's a lot harder to play on the turf than than what people think because the ball's a lot faster. Yeah, the ball will roll a lot faster on the turf compared to grass. Yeah, Wes Justman plays on that beautiful Bermuda grass over there at West Justman. Now, when they went to Science Hill and they won that. They played at Steve Spurrier Field over there. Actually, Steve Spurrier donated all the money for it down in Johnson City, Tennessee. And uh, it was turf. And so they have had experience on turf recently. So I think they're okay coming into this one. And so far, they appear to be okay. West Jesmond. Up 1-0 as we approach the 16th minute. Unofficial goal from Morgan Pence. We're going to have to go back at halftime and check that out for sure. But it appeared to be possibly Morgan Pence on the goal to give West Jesmond a 1-0 lead early in this one.
Lady Colts with the throw in. Jordan Gal checking in for Lexington Catholic, giving Casey Neuer a breather. And Olivia Williams did not pick up the ball down there. And the ref's going to rule that a corner kick for West Jesmond. Not sure what, what occurred down there. They pass it in and shot over Ooh. the top. Eva Mitchell with a shot. Delaney Long took the corner kick for West Jesmond as I'm picking it up here. Send a shout out to my good friend Ryan Tyson over there at Crown Trophy as uh, he's tweeting at us tonight. You get, uh, if you need recognition, my friends, that's the place to go. And great passing there. Kenny Trainer could not get it. Now lead pass from Cassie Corbett. Defender goes down and they're gonna blow a whistle. Ooh. Fans are upset with that call. And honestly didn't see much contact. Maybe they tripped up. But Kennedy Trainer was free to the goal there and anything could have happened. But the ref did call a foul on Kennedy Trainer. Was that uh, Cole again on defense for West Chessman? I believe it was. <laughs> Number four. You get the West Chester. Number, number four would be Sayara Young. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's a good one too. She she's really good. Yeah, sophomore for Yeah, she's the Lady an up and comer too. Yes. Yeah. Her brother plays for the West Jasmine boys soccer team and he's a star on that team as well. Lady Knights now starting to attack better as they lose control here, though, and West Jesmond will have an opportunity. This one going by fairly quickly. Not Terry Quigley. I said fairly quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Ref's going to roll that one a corner kick. Another corner come, uh, kick coming up here for Delaney Long and West Jasmine. You're watching the game live and in real time as it happens here on Night Vision, the Lexington Catholic Digital Network, powered by Prep Spin. Oh, look Almost out. Almost took off a couple heads there. She went head hunting. Pass from number 14 for West Jasmine, Tara Martin. Yeah, Tara Martin. She, she's the real deal, my friends. You don't want to be hit with that line drive. Not at all. When you saw her teammate, she ducked. <laughs> she knew it was coming and she got yeah, down. That's, that's like a tennis serve coming at you, but a much bigger ball. Lady Knights might have something here as Kennedy Trainer passes one to Maggie Corbett. Maggie Corbett's pass to Abby Van Hoovey. And Emma Harper has it taken away. Lady Knights get it back and taken right back by West Jasmine. And given right back to the Lady Knights for a throw in. Right idea. And you are watching the game live here in real time as it happens on Night Vision, the Lexington Catholic Digital Network. Great lead pass from Cassie Corbett. Abby Van Hoovey didn't appear to be ready. Great defense from the Lady Colts to clear that one out. Jack, you got any brothers or sisters that also go to school here? That I do have a sister that is a junior. She's on the basketball team for the Lady Knights and Coach True. Okay. Also have two younger, a brother and a sister at Christ the King Catholic School in Lexington. Right. Little brother in eighth grade plays football for the middle school team for Lexington Catholic. They had a game yesterday against LCA, didn't they? I think so, and 
Luke, my brother, actually not that bad of a running back. I believe he had around 30 touchdowns last year for the oh, middle wow. school team. Hey, that's doing something, right? Yeah. Of course, he learned all his moves from me in the backyard. Ah, uh, now come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting down to about 10 minutes and some change here left to go in this first half of play. It's William Warfield with the play-by-play -play voice tonight, uh, Jack Haynes, senior here at Lexington Catholic High School, giving it to you. Glad we got some uh, student interest here at Lexington Catholic in the uh, night vision program. And it's only going to grow bigger. Yes, and uh, Coach uh, Brad Carter trying to get other students involved. Yes. Got a friend that might be interested in doing something. Well, you know, night we, vision and prep spin. We've had a couple, you know, Brit Brittany Lydon last year, she, she started doing night vision with us when we very first started. And, of course, she went on to college now, but she also did some stuff on the Scholastic Ball Report show. Uh, Emma Eiler, she went from Lexington Catholic doing night vision. She got hired on with the Lexington Legends to do camera. And uh, so, I mean, it's it's good things to learn this program. It's the future of television we're talking about, my friend. Yep, and yes, indeed. Great place to get started. That one out of play. Looks like it will be a Lady Knights throw in. And uh, who's your ultimate Frisbee head coach here? I believe it would be uh, Coach Wu. Coach Wu, yeah, that's that's right. Coach Wu has started a class here as well, a uh, broadcasting class to my knowledge. They may be picking up in the second semester, possibly. I believe I did hear something about that yet. Uh, Mr. Wu, the computer apps teacher at Lexington Catholic, also the head coach of the Ultimate Frisbee team. Cassie Corbett with a great takeaway. And so what do you get? Do you guys learn what a lot of C, C pound there or what? Stuff like that, how to use a... In different internet uh, machines like Word and Google Drive. Oh, okay. Class you take freshman year at Lexington Catholic. Olivia Williams picks up the ball as was just fired from the other side of the field. Austin Wally there. Clear it out. And Looks like one of the West Jesmond coaches on the sideline took a shot. That was Coach Kevin Wright over there, and he's a former, uh, I believe he's a semi-pro. Um, maybe even pro, I have to ask him again, but but I know he had a lot to do. Matter of fact, his daughter is a superstar soccer player, Taryn. And she, uh, she has all kinds of dribbling skills, man. It's amazing to watch her just dribble the soccer ball with the feet, of course. Not Shot like on a basketball. goal. Going to be wide left. Delaney, Delaney Long. Long. Yeah. You got to watch out for her now. She's she's an up and coming um, superstar for West Jasmine. Shot was not far off from goal there. She knows it too. Look at her. And Sarah Jane McCarty. Ah, uh, she back saw the in. camera. She saw the camera. Did you see that? <laughs> I was not looking. Yeah, she looked up here. She knew she was on camera. <laughs> Great defense from Sarah J. McCarty. Just checked back in, and Abby Van Hoovey has a lead pass to Kennedy Tranner. Tranner crosses it and going to be off the side of the net. Will be a goal kick for the Lady Colts. We'll switch our... Filter up a little bit here on the camera. Let it adjust. Okay. 
Now under the lights here at Lexington Catholic, the HD will get so much better. It, uh, it's beautiful. It's just when that sun's out that we have little sunspots in the picture. But you guys are about ready to be in for a nice treat here in the second half. And the sun already starting to go down. Beautiful night here at Lexington Catholic. West Jesmond Lady Colts against Lexington Catholic Lady Knights. West Jesmond up 1-0 as we approach five minutes left in the first half. Both teams with a lot of opportunities here. Lexington Catholic started off slow on the offensive side, but starting to pick things up here as of late with a couple opportunities. Amazing pass from uh -oh. the defensive side, and Kennedy Trainer is going to have an opportunity. She's going to cross that one and going to be behind. Kennedy's going to have to start taking those shots, I think, because crossing them over, West Jasmine's just, uh, you know, they're coming back and, and gaining their defensive presence again each and every time. So Kennedy's just going to have to start trying to shoot those in the net, I think, as she's coming down the field. Yeah, West Jasmine having good defense tonight. Because I think Kennedy can outrun everybody out there on the field. Um, but it's when she's making that extra pass, that, that crossover pass, is when they're losing a little bit of time each, each and every time because West Jasmine's also quick. West Jasmine with an opportunity shot in for a goal. I believe that was that was uh, Mitchell. Eva Mitchell with her 17th goal on the year. Anna Lee on the assist. Two UK commits there. Amazing shot from Eva Mitchell to give West Jesmond a two nothing lead here in this one with exactly four minutes left in the first half. Mitchell a superstar. And I'm not sure that could be more than her 17th goal as the st stats for their game they last played were not in, where they won 5-1 to one Yeah, she uh, over East Jasmine. Yeah, she had three in that one, I believe. That would make it 20 on the year for Eva Mitchell. Lady Colts up 2-0 in this one in the first half. No, she had two in that game. So making 19. Another opportunity. Austin Wally taking a shot there. Yeah, she took one right to the kneecap. Going to have to shake that one off. Will be a goal kick for the Lady Knights. Assessment up two to Neal. With 3.10 left to go here in the first half of play. Jack Haynes, he's got your play-by-play -play tonight. William Warfield here with you as well. Bringing you a game here live on Night Vision. And West Jasmine stars are out tonight, making a lot of plays for them. Kennedy Traner and the rest of the Lady Knights going to have to try and get something going. Oh, and big collision. Yeah, that was. Kennedy Traner colliding I, with. Luckily, they didn't hit heads. Sayara so Young. And they give a. Going to hit Kennedy Traner <laughs> with a yellow card. The, well, the the lady that came over and gave the yellow card there, one of the people in the crowd, that was kind of funny, man. I'm, I don't know if I should repeat that or not, but <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. I don't know if you guys heard that back on your mic, but uh, obviously a West Jessman fan angry at the call. Or, excuse me, a Lexington Catholic fan angry at the call. But they called the ma'am the ma'am the sir. That, uh, that was kind of crazy there. <laughs> and that was a big-time collision. Two minutes left here in the first half. West Jesmond just now taking a 2-0 lead on Lexington Catholic. Abby Van Hoovey with great ball skills, but not able to keep it 
under control at his, as it is cleared out by the Lady Colts. It's that pressure, that defensive pressure there in the backfield. Uh, West Jessman throwing uh, five at them right now in the back. And yeah, you, you get 3 see, 2 set up. Yeah, you tend to see multiple defenders on whoever has the ball for the Lady Knights as cleared out again. Lexington Catholic with possession. Cleared out once again. Caroline Hergen there to knock it down. Whistle going to be blown. I believe they called a handball on Caroline Hergen as the ref pointed to her wrist. Yeah. You know, I remember watching some classics over the years, and, you know, one of the classics that come to mind when these two teams met up, of course, they used to be in the same region, um, but Chelsea Smith and Aaron Gilliland used to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. and you talk about two special players there. It, it was very well worth your price of admission to get into the game to watch those two go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Chelsea Smith, of course, the Lexington uh, Catholic graduate. She went on to Western Kentucky to play. And Aaron Gillen obviously went on to Kentucky, got drafted into the pros, and still playing with the Chicago Red Stars. Very impressive from the two young ladies. Now, Chelsea, she uh, filled in here a little bit uh, with Coach Quigley last year as an assistant coach on the team. I don't know if she's back here this year or not. I don't think she is, but she did spend some more time here last year with, with the team. Going to go right into Olivia Williams' hands as first half will come to an end here tonight. The West Jasmine Lady Colts up 2 nothing. Apologize about the uh, <laughs> the pitcher went out on us there. We, got, uh, we had a power spike or something on the camera just now. So we apologize about that. We're going to step out for a minute. We'll be right back, folks. When kids take part, they get set for life. I'm not happy with my teeth. They're not straight enough. Let me fix them for you. No, 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 no. You are not White Greer and Maggard. I'm sort of like White Greer and Maggard. I'm local, love smiles, love to fix things. No, 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 no. Sorta of you isn't you. White, Greer, and Maggard, where a beautiful smile is just the beginning. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. White, Greer, and Maggard, where a beautiful smile is just the beginning. 
I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, if you see it on the court. Pick it up at all sports, pick it up at all sports. In Fayette Mall and allsportslex.com, locally owned and operated since 1972. It's easy to spot people who participated in high school sports and activities. Right on time. They learned important lessons like leadership, teamwork, respect. Hey, our meeting moved to 10. We'll be ready. Values that last a lifetime. We need to focus on three factors. Support high school sports and activities in your community. When kids take part, they get set for life. I'm not happy with my teeth. They're not straight enough. Let me fix them for you. No, 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 no. You are not White Greer and Maggard. I'm sort of like White Greer and Maggard. I'm local, love smiles, love to fix things. No, 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 no. Sort of you isn't you. White Greer and Maggard, where a beautiful smile is just the beginning. P R O R T S Sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. All right, welcome back here to Lexington Catholic. Tonight for this great matchup we have here, West Jasmine Lady Colts against Lexington Catholic Lady Knights and West Jasmine up two to zero here at halftime. And we have a correction to make. It was Eva Mitchell with the first goal for, Le or for West Jasmine, excuse me. We did say it was from Morgan Pence, but it will go to Eva Mitchell who scored both goals tonight for the Lady Colts, and she is a UK commit. 
along with Anna Lee for uh, West Jesmond. And Lexington Catholic had a couple opportunities to sc uh, score in the first half. Kennedy Traner with two beautiful passes, but the defense was there for the Lady Colts. Coach Quigley, I'm sure, trying to uh, pump up his girls in the locker room, and it looks like Liz Thompson is warming up in goal for the Lady Knights, and we probably will see her in the second half as Lexington Catholic tends to switch goalies per half. So Eva Mitchell will go down with those two goals in the first half. And also earlier in the game when there was that stoppage, there was a yellow card handed out to West Jesmond's head coach, Kevin Wright, for arguing with the ref. So Kevin Wright, Coach Kevin Wright picked up a yellow card earlier in the game. Bringing you a top-notch matchup tonight. What was that? Yeah, Lexington Catholic with only one shot on goal tonight. But Kennedy Traner with those two crosses that were not successful. They've had limited opportunities. West Jesmond defense has been tough tonight. But the Lady Knights are going to have to try and get back into this one as they're coming back to take the field for the second half. And as I was saying, tonight's matchup, Prep Spins Power 40 pool, Lexington Catholic number 20, West Jesmond number eight. Both teams ranked high based on their strength of schedule. And we are ready to start the second half. Lady Knights break their team huddle and trot out onto the field. Getting ready to start the second half here at Joseph K. Ford Stadium, home of the Lexington Catholic Knights. Both teams actually going to change their keepers up. West Jesmond uh, and a little contact down there between Tori McLaughlin and Eva Mitchell. Going to be a foul on Eva Mitchell. Cassie Corbett on for the Lady Knights for the free kick. Corbett's free kick is down there and the bicycle attempt from Kennedy Traner is off. Haven't seen that one in girls soccer yet. Kennedy Traner attempting somewhat of a bicycle kick was off target. Do they call that a trick shot in soccer? I, I know, I know so. it's a bicycle kick, but I believe they do call it a. Isn't that kind of like trick throwing shot? a? You know, you have to free the line and you shoot it backwards. Something <laughs> like that, yeah. You want to thank our sponsors here on the network, folks. Uh, sorry about that little blackout that we had there briefly as well. Uh, we got a power a power strip that uh, got a bad plug on it. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't shut us all down, though. But uh, again, want to thank our sponsors, uh, Josh. We couldn't do it without them. White Green Maggot Orthodontics. Want to thank those fine folks. All Sports over there in Fayette Mall. If you see it on the field, you see it in a court. You can pick it up over at All Sports. Of course, we want to thank uh, Triple Play Productions. They do the team pitchers here at Lexington Cali. Uh, Collins Bowling Centers, Eastland and South of Lanes, $99 worth of entertainment. You can get right now for only $39. And I um, also want to thank Traditional Bank. And there's a shot. 
Shot on goal. There's Osborne one from way out there. Liz Thompson. Oh, was it Thompson? Snatches it up. Oh, okay. So Thompson got it. Yes, yes. Gotcha. I don't know. What was I thinking? Caroline Osborne. Why Caroline was, Osborne. Didn't she, she uh, play last year? She played basketball last year yeah. for the Lady Knights. Well, she was a soccer player, too. I think. No, no, I'll take that back. The, the dual sport athlete last year that graduated. Uh, red hair. Or that would be uh, that would have been two years ago. Bailey Browning. Bailey Browning, yeah. yeah was that two, two years, years ago? Man, yeah. I tell you, time goes by so quick. <laughs> yes, it really does. Casey Noyer's pass to Kennedy Trainer and right back to Noyer, oh. who shot his own goal. Is gonna be off target, wide left. Noyer with a great shot, not able to connect. I'll send a shout out to uh, her mom that'll go back and watch the game. There she is there. But, uh, yeah, her mom will go back and watch the game, and then we'll we'll see her comments later on on Twitter. <laughs> Liz, we appreciate those. Will be a goal kick for West Jasmine. West Jasmine in the blue and black stripes in the black shorts. Lexington Catholic in the all-white tonight. West Jasmine up 2-0 here in the second half. About four minutes in. Eva Mitchell putting on a show already tonight. Two goals. Early on here. Ken when we've seen Kennedy Trainer with some opportunities, just not able to get anything going. As she did pick up a yellow card in the first half. Even Mitchell, if she scores again, that would be a hat trick tonight. And I believe that wouldn't be her first hat trick on the year. Nope. Not at all. She is the... Uh, she's the standard. And I'm telling you, she's, she's a superstar. Uh, that's much better. Collision. Ref will blow a whistle. Going to be a free kick. Fans pleading for the ref to give the defender for West Jasmine a card, but no card handed. Free kick from Kennedy Trainer about 18 yards out. Opportunity here for the Lady Knights. West is going to stack up four, it looks like. Trainer's shot is over the top. Kind of sailed on her there. Yeah. I mentioned that uh, Rexford would be in the game probably in the second half. Well, she's in there right now in goal for West Jasmine. Of course, uh, Lexington Catholic, they've got Liz Thompson in the ball game. And you do not, you do not want to run into Liz Thompson. <laughs> My, did you see that? Yep, and uh, people still talking about that play at school. <laughs> yeah, the, basically what we're talking about is Liz Thompson. Somebody was trying to, you know, basically score on her, and she lowered the shoulder. She was coming out to get the ball, and it was against Assumption, wasn't it? And anyway, as we got, we're going to have a direct kick here for West Jasmine. Yeah, free kick in the box. For West Jasmine. And yes. going to be wide right. Morgan Pence was on to take the free kick. And that was an opportunity for West Jasmine to create a big lead here in the second half. Liz Thompson not having to do anything as it was wide right. Back, up, back on this shoulder block that we're talking about from Liz Thompson. She lowered that shoulder as that girl was coming in here and that was the hardest hit, including the football team now, including <laughs> the football team, that I have seen all season long from a Lexington Catholic Knight. And speaking of collisions and hard hits, a lot here tonight as this one's getting physical in the second half. Maggie Corbett with a steal, but not able to keep it under control. 
Eva Mitchell, two goals on the evening. We did confirm that first one. We thought it might have been Morgan Pence, but it was Eva Mitchell that scored that first one as well. Austin Wally there to clear it out. And it seems like we say Austin Wally's name a lot in each game we cover. You ever seen that movie, Wally? Yes, I have actually. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys uh, didn't think it was that great of a movie, to be honest. Yeah, for Disney, I guess. But. I wonder if anybody's like Austin Wally. <laughs> you know how yeah, they said Wally in the in the movie. I, the only reason why I bring that up is because I, I just watched it with a little one, and you know, I thought it was a cute little movie. <laughs> actually, I actually haven't seen it in a long time, so. You'll watch it a lot one day, my friend. <laughs> Austin Wally with a lot of nicknames in school. A lot of people tend to pronounce your name Whale as it's spelled that way. Yeah. And the fans are letting the ref hear it tonight at Lexington Catholic. Will be a free kick for the Knights. Cassie Corbett on to attempt it about 30 yards out. But this is a physical game so far, and the fans are also letting the ref hear their opinions. Oh, good shot. Ball. Ooh, nice save, too, by Rexford. You know, uh, the last couple of shots that Lexington Catholic has taken it that's like you know good looks uh, when they go back down the field it's kind of like they're in you know jog mode back down the field and West Chesman's just able to roll the ball they don't have to punt it or anything like that yeah West Chesman just able to push it yeah. with ease Kenny Trainer has it knocked away Casey Neuer gets it and fires uh -oh. over the top man if this if this was a game of Friday night field goals then Lexington Catholic would be up, no doubt about it. Yeah, Lexington Catholic with several shots on goal. None of them really on target, though. All of them are splitting the uprights, just the yes. wrong ones. Although that is a good sign that they're getting opportunities. Yeah. Well, they're, they're taking long shots, too. I mean, nothing's been like, you know, nothing's been like really, really close up. I don't know if it's the defense of West Jasmine, the way that they're spread out, or what it is, but Lexington Catholic, the only decent shots they've been able to take so far has been behind the 10-yard line. And it's not necessarily like they're forcing those shots. They have the talent for those shots to be taken. Sarah Jane McCarty steals it and shoots. Going to be deflected and will be a corner kick for the Lady Knights. Caroline Hergen will take the corner. Uh-oh. Opportunity. Good opportunity here for the Knights with 29 minutes left to go here in the ball game. William Warfield and Jack Haynes, the student intern here from Lexington Catholic, a senior. Wanting to go on to college to check out the uh, sports broadcasting. Austin Wally oh, with, with the header. And that was an amazing save. That's a freshman in goal there for West Jasmine. And she just had Wally give her the best of her there. And it was just a great save there by that keeper. Another corner attempt for the Lady Knights. Kennedy Tranner will take this one in the opposite corner. Look for the curve here, the hook. Oh, she went straight with it. They were looking a for the header. Far. Over the top, clears all the players on the field and will be a goal kick. <laughs> Casey Neuer comes up with it. And a nice lead pass to Dominique Morris. Passes it across the field to Kennedy Traner. And Traner passes to Neuer, but going to be wide left. 
Well, I tell you what, Lexington Catholic is playing in the old West right now, so to speak, yes. against West, because they have taken a lot of shots out there. Yeah, and they came out here in the second firing half. in the second half. Yep. As they started off slow in the first half, but towards the first half, they're able to pick it up, and they're continuing it here. Kennedy Trainer fire is going to be wide left again. Some, she must have been listening to our advice. She, she's firing on everything she gets right now. <laughs> and like you were saying, Wes Jesmond pushing it here. Coach Cleveland must have talked to her at halftime and said, hey, you know, those those crosses you're doing are, are great. You know, it's getting your team involved. But just shoot it, you know. Maybe uh, Coach Quigley had someone listening to the broadcast. I doubt that. He's, <laughs> that guy is amazing. He can coach. That he can. Two legendary coaches going up against each other. Kevin Wright <laughs> for West Jasmine. Coach Quigley for the Lady Knights. Uh-oh. Opportunity. Austin Wally with the great defense. Will be a corner for the Lady Colts. You know, an a insurance goal here wouldn't be a bad thing for Wes Jasmine, although Lexington Catholic broke it up. Abby Van Hoovey there with the defense. Got some a lot of Knights fans out here tonight watching this one. Knights on full support here this evening. So talk, talk to me, it, a normal day, game day, we'll say game day, and the announcements inside Lexington Catholic. Are they really focused on sports in there, on the announcements, the afternoon announcements? Yeah, they are, I would say. They kind of get you guys pumped up. They try and get the students pumped up with the morning announcements and usually another announcement, big time collision. Delaney Long. Delaney Long taken down. Abby Van Hoovey will be issued a yellow card. And that was a big time hit. The, uh, wow. The official there told her to, to head to the sideline. I don't, yellow card there, maybe, maybe not. It looked like they just kind of ran into each other. but Nonetheless, was a big hit. But back to what we were saying, they do try and pump you up with their announcements. Should that be a throw in for Lexington Catholic or for West Jasmine with that being a yellow card against West? Looks like it will be a West throw in. I guess if they call that the penalty was after the play. Right. So if it makes sense. Great defense from Tori McLaughlin as she takes it away. Passes it to the middle of the field to Kennedy Trainer and Trainer's pass to no man's land. Will go out of bounds. Yeah. Kennedy was just trying to have some field vision there, just trying to lead her teammate uh, you know, up the field. Probably a little miscommunication there with sophomore Tori McLaughlin. Kennedy Trainer using her speed but knocked away. And West Jesmond able to clear it out. Eddie Meyer with the takeaway there on Kennedy Trainer that we just saw a moment ago. Now West Jesmond looking to push it. 
Colts pitching a shutout right now. Tyler Perdue did a great job there in the first half, although Lexington Catholic didn't get a lot of shots off. Rexford's had a couple big saves here in the second half. Lexington Catholic's had opportunities, so they just haven't been able to capitalize on them just yet. Yeah, Lexington Catholic attacking a lot here in the second half. Just none of their goals on target, really, except for that Austin Wally header we saw off the corner kick with a great save in goal from Rexford. Lady Knights really need something to happen here coming up as they are down two goals to none. Clear out attempts from Sergio McCarty. Nice Unsuccessful. Liz Thompson with two amazing saves there. Right down that time, 22-23, because Liz Thompson, that's a highlight right there for you, young lady. Liz Thompson showing why she is able to come in and play goalie and share time with Olivia Williams. Just putting on two great saves there. She had two right at it. Which probably keep the late nights in the game at this point. Dominic Morris's cross attempt is defended well by the Lady Colts. Young on the defense there for West Jessman. Soraya Young. And no call there. Tor McLaughlin went down. Now Sarah Jane McCarty. Right to Casey Neuer, passes to Kennedy Traner, whose shot is going to probably be deflected, I believe, and right into the West Jasmine's goalie. West Jasmine almost came away with a fast break there, and they're going to get one here. Sloppy play by the Knights defense. Shot on goal. Going to go in. That's a hat trick for Mitchell now. Eva Mitchell with the hat trick for the Lady Colts as they go up 3-0 here. Coming down to about 20 minutes left in the second half. Eva Mitchell with the hat trick. She, Not her first hat trick, no, ladies and she, gentlemen. She's amazing. Eva Mitchell with an outstanding goal. One of three here tonight as Lady Colts up three to zero. Might be the one they needed to put the Lady Knights away. Still time in this one, but will be tough to get three goals in 20 minutes. All the Lady Knights have had opportunities None of their shots necessarily on goal. Colts threatening again. But defended well by the Lady Knights. Casey Neuer gets it out to Kennedy Trainer, Who gets by one defender. And makes a pass that's cleared out by the Lady Colts. Maggie Corbett, I believe, was whistled for the foul. Maybe not as a, as a throw-in, just with great defense. Anna Lee. Offside's going to be called on the Lady Colts. You got some highlights here in the second half. Liz Thompson... One of those highlights there. But, uh, how about Eva Mitchell, the hat trick tonight? Very impressive, and I'm sure her teammates and coaches 
are used to seeing hat tricks from her throughout the years. That should make it her 22nd goal on the year for Eva Mitchell. Emma Harper and Alexis Burdine in for the Lady Knights. Lady Colts with the defense here. And it's worth pointing out the Lady Knights have had their opportunities, but haven't really been able to get inside the 15-yard line on a shot attempt besides their corner kick attempt. Just West Jasmine with great defense and offense here tonight. Why are they up three to nil and pitching the shutout? Lady Colts threatening again, going to be over the top. It was Yance that took the shot there, Kimmy Yance. She's one of those players, too, that, uh, you, know, is, you know, just came up uh, in the West system and has done outstanding things. Yeah, Kimmy Yance. Having a pretty nice year for the Lady Colts. She's got two goals and three assists She's so what, far. What class is she? Cami Yance. Sophomore. Let me look. Yep, she is a sophomore. You're That's correct. Thank you. And she is continuing to grow in the West Jasmine program. Casey Noyer surveying the field as she passes it to Kennedy Traner. And two Knights were there as a little miscommunication and West Jasmine takes it right back. Here come the Lady Colts. Uh -oh. And Liz Thompson oh. snags that one in midair on the run. Very impressive Liz Thompson here in the second half. Eva Mitchell with a shot attempt. Would have been her fourth. Uh, Liz Thompson snagging that one. The record here on this field is five goals in one game. The um, young lady from Highlands did it five years ago. Um, Meyer was her last name. Five goals in one game. Five goals in one game. Very impressive. Gonna go out of bounds and be Lady Colts throwing. Fifteen minutes left in this one. Eva Mitchell with a hat trick here tonight. Yep. Three goals in one game. Eva Mitchell. And she got that hat trick done with plenty of time left in this one. As she had two in the first half and her third here in the second half to give the Lady Colts their three to nothing lead. Whistle blown. West playing very aggressive, aren't they? Yeah, both teams playing aggressive, but you can clearly see West Jesmond has the edge tonight. And uh, Cassie Corbett's free kick. Was that Had an opportunity and Casey Noir came flying in. Rexford kind of did a no lay there. Yeah, like, Rexford uh, able to get that one out. 
She sidestepped the the player coming in on her, which was Neuer. Throw in for the Lady Knights. Matt Kennedy trainer with the ball and her shot. Gonna be scooped up by goalie Rexford for West Jasmine. Hmm. Caroline Hergen with the defense, and was that off the face of Look like it. West Jasmine player? <laughs> that's Point two blank nights, range. That's two nights in a row that Catholics put a ball off the face <laughs> of their opponent. And uh, Neuer's shot attempt, not much on it. But she's able to get it back and then stumbled and goes down. Where now West Jasmine. Where West Jasmine. Austin Wally. Yeah, West was trying to play for the corner kick there. And they do give him a corner kick. Corner kick coming up here for the Colts. I'll take you in on it here. Going to be over everyone's head. Yeah. And for the Lady Knights, Jordan Gow. And as you were saying earlier, you definitely can tell West Jasmine coming out with more aggressiveness in this one. Kenny Trainer trying to split the two defenders, not able to. And another collision there. Ref going to warn. Trainer, as she already has a yellow card in this one, lucky to not pick up another one. Ref did kind of shake her finger at her and give her a warning after that collision. Free kick for the Lady Colts. And Liz Thompson there and dropped it. Colts not able to get it into the goal. Good defense by the Lady Knights to get it out in time. Whistle blown. Going to be a free kick for the Lady Colts, and the fans are upset here <laughs> at Lexington Catholic. Passionate fans. And the ref having some words with with some of the Lady Knights players, I believe. Shot is up and caught by Liz Thompson. She's had a lot of action here tonight, here in the second half. And the Lady Knights better be careful to keep their tempers in check. About nine minutes left in this one. And 
some of the fans' comments here tonight are pretty comical. Caroline Hergen, or excuse me, Austin Wally to take the goal kick. Maggie Corbett able to get it up field. But defense there for the Lady Colts able to take it away. Lady Colts have looked very impressive tonight. Whistle blown. Going to be a foul against West Jasmine. Lady Knights will be on for the free kick. And this game has gotten very physical in the second half. Free kick to be taken by Kennedy Trenner. Probably should thank our sponsors again here. We want to thank White Grim Magro Orthodontics, our title sponsor on the network. Collins Bowling Centers, Triple Play Productions, uh, Traditional Bank. Shot from Kennedy Trainer. Stopped by Rexford. Rexford. And you said she was a freshman, right? She is a freshman. Very impressive. Many good years to come. You think Bluegrass Orthopedics, too. Sponsor here on the network. And uh, all sports, you see it on the field, you see it on the court, you can pick it up at all sports. Yes, sir. Mingy beef jerky. Oh, yeah, Mingy. You don't want to forget Mingy beef jerky. Thank those fine folks. Maggie Corbett shot. Rexford there again. It says scoop it up. Collins Bowling Centers, Eastland and Southland Lanes. Got a great deal going on. All kinds of entertainment worth $99, now only $39. So go take advantage of that offer and head down to either one of the Collins Bowling Center, Eastland, and Southland. West Jasmine not giving up as they continue to still attack here, attack here. And as this one's coming to an end, I would definitely say the key in this one was the aggressiveness factor for the Lady Colts, yep. both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball, able to take care of things tonight. And mass sub in for Lexington Catholic. As this one is getting a little physical and Coach quickly realizes that this one is over. So he wants to get his key players out of the game. <clears throat> Last Jasmine came in here and they handled their business tonight as uh, – you don't come into Lexington Catholic and take them lightly. West Jasmine certainly did not. They come in here and got the job done tonight. Yep, and West Jasmine continuing to prove that they are a top 10 team in the state. And taken down, according to our prep spin power 40 pull, the number 20th team in the state, Lexington Catholic. Yep. And reflects the power of schedule. Both teams with very high strength of schedule. And there's other factors too, win loss record, power schedule, your uh, how you fare against the top ten. A lot of things go into it. And shot from about twenty two yards out, Anna Lee. Shot will be scooped up by Liz Thompson. Wow. 
and you can kind of tell from the beginning of this one that the Lady Colts had control early. Opportunity going to be wide left. They also have had the advantage in time of possession, I would imagine. Just from controlling the game from almost every aspect here tonight. Mm -hmm. And these losses should not affect the Lady Knights. Oh, no, as no, they're, no. They're playing against top-notch teams week in and week out. The only one that affects you is the last one of the season where you're either eliminated or you win it all. Yep. And uh, I'd imagine based on the toughness of their schedule, they will be ready come playoff time. Yep. Coach Quigley always has his teams ready that time of year. for the Lady Knights was freshman McKenna Ham. Another one of the freshmen that sees some time now and then on the field. Coach Quigley looking to see throughout the year that he can trust some of these young freshmen on the team. And also goes to say for the Lady Colts, they do have some young talent. Yep, they do that steps up night in and night out for them. Well, nice just regroup and they'll take on their next challenge. Most Jasmine gonna leave here tonight with a with a big victory though. And uh, West Jasmine's next game will be against St. Mary's Episcopal School out of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. They'll be coming to West Jasmine to play that one. When's that game? That game will be on the 23rd. Oh, that's coming up. It is coming up in that's two uh, days. Friday, right? Friday night. Yeah. Of course, we'll have we'll have football on Prepspin.com. Oh, no soccer on Friday nights on Prepspin with. All the football games going on. And this one winding down. 20 seconds left until the final horn. And great job in goal from both goalies on West Jasmine's side. As this one's going to come to an end here tonight at Joseph K. Forest Stadium here at Lexington Catholic. The Colts with everything going tonight. Eva Mitchell with the hat trick. Colts going to win this one 3 to nil. Thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Do you want to run down the sponsors one more time? Yeah, we've got a Mingi Beef Jerky. All sports, if you see it on the field, you see it on the court, you pick it up at All Sports. Bluegrass Orthopedics. Can't leave out White Greer and Maggard, main sponsor here at Prep Spin. Uh, class 101 Orthopedics. And uh, great game from Eva Mitchell tonight as she finishes with the hat trick. And the Lady Colts take down the Lady Knights 3 0 in this one for William Warfield. I'm Jack Haynes signing off tonight. We will see you next time on Night Vision and Prep Spin. Thanks for joining us.